Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have this Lenovo Think Center. Let's have a look together what's wrong with this one. So let's plug the power cord and see what it is doing. Okay, the power is connected. Let's turn it on and let's try it. Let's try it again. Let's uh, see the, let me turn it off. Let's inspect. the jumpers so the jumpers are let me change this one let's do it again and try it now no it doesn't work at all let me take the jumper out it doesn't work let's reset the bios Works. so it doesn't work let's inspect the, the board let's measure some voltages let's test the BIOS bin number 8 which is this one we have 2.4 volts this is not correct 2.4 volts is not correct it should be either 1.8 volts or 3.3 volts so i think the voltage is not correct at the bios should be not correct even at the super io so let's check it at the super io so here we have 2.3 volts at the BIOS we have 2.3 volts so it's the same so I think this is why that is why it doesn't work so the voltage that prov the component that provides the 3.3 volt at the BIOS is this MOSFET here at this board from my experience this component is what provides the 3.3 volts as 5 so if we test here we should find the same is 3.3 volts yeah 2.3 volts is the same exactly at what we are getting here yeah so let's check the gate the gate has only 4.3 volts that is why it is not opening completely so let's uh, inspect the gate area of that I see of that MOSFET okay let me bring the microscope so let's inspect this area so this MOSFET what I was talking about is should provide the 3.3 volts to the super IO and 
and the BIOS. So the gate here goes through here to this capacitor, I think, to ground. And from here goes to this resistor and from this resistor to this resistor and to this transistor. So let's check the voltage is here. Let me turn on again. Do we still have three point? Uh, I mean, two point three volts. Yeah, two point two volts. What do we have here? We say at the gate four volts, and here we have also four volts. What about here? 12 volts so we have 12 volts here so this is I think is a voltage divider why it is giving only 4 volts to this IC I don't know let's try and reflow these resistors and this transistor and see if it will work yeah even here we have 4 volts because after this resistor we have only 4 volts I think I have the diagram of this board let's uh, bring it to make sure that what I am talking about is correct okay so here is the board view and the schematic of it so this is the super IO and I was testing uh, I think yeah this resistor so as you can see at this resistor we are having plus 3.3 volts s5 yeah so this one goes directly to this mosfet which i was checking so this mosfet gate is this and it is going to this capacitor as i said and then to this resistor and from this resistor to another resistor and to this uh, transistor and also let me find it in the schematic let me just search for this Q140 Q140 okay so this is Q140 let me just zoom in a little bit so as you can see we have 3V 3 s5 here which should which is getting to bin 1 2 and 3 and we have 4 is the gate so from the gate we are getting 19 volt or 12 volt dsw so this is from the main power rail so we and we checked that we are we are getting 12 volts at this resistor which is r1 r981 this one after this one we have this transistor which is pulling this line to line to ground so it works as a voltage divider then this resistor what provides the voltage at bin 4 and we are getting only 4 volts which I think is not correct so either we have something wrong with this transistor or this resistor is not providing providing enough power or the signal which is sys 5 volt sp vsp off so we are getting this signal when this signal is present this transistor is on and it it pulls this line to ground okay so we need to check the gate of this transistor of this MOSFET this small MOSFET which is this one let's do it okay let's check it again here we say that we have only let me bring you the microscope view okay as you can see we, ha we have here only 2.2 volts should be 3.2 Three volts and this is the gate that goes to this capacitor and then to this resistor and from this resistor to this transistor and to ground this is ground so this is the gate and we are getting nothing at the gate 
and here is nothing also so this is not on it's not turned on so it's not pulling this line down to ground yeah it's not pulling this line to ground through the collector and the emitter or the drain and source if it is MOSFET okay so this is not our problem our problem is either this resistor is not providing enough power enough voltage here or this resistor let me check the resistor here 4.1 volts and after it is 4.2 it's not this resistor so it's it must be this resistor let me check that resistor which is let me bring the schematic so yeah this one is r981 yeah it's r981 it's let me show you it's written in here r981 which is this one r107 is this one these two are these and this capacitor is this okay and as you can see is written here plus 3 v3 underscore s5 so this is this should be 3.3 volts not 2.2 volts yeah so we have a problem there okay so this resistor is we said r981 let let's let's bring uh, the schematic so r9 8 one is this one and it should be 100 kilo ohms let's turn off the power and go to ohms mode and check that resistor let me bring uh, microscope view again so this one Should be 100 kilo ohms and we are reading 5 mega ohms which is not good let me try and reflow that resistor Let's measure that resistor again. Now we are reading 46 kilo ohms and it is rising. Let's wait for it to cool down. Let's measure it again. We still read 50 kilo ohms. Let's try it now. I think it's, yeah, it's cold. Let's try and turn it on now. The power is connected. Let me connect the display so if it does work we know if it is displaying or not okay let's try it let's measure the voltage now At the BIOS, we have 3.3 volts. Yes, we didn't see that. So we have 
3.3 volts and at this MOSFET also we have 3.3 volts so now it should work let's try and yes it does work three short one long I think yeah the ROM model is not seated correctly look okay let's try it now yeah we don't have that beeps anymore let's try and wait for it will we get a display let me bring the microscope view microscope it's power cycling why it is power cycling okay will we get a display yes we do get a display which is nice let me try and press F1. Let me put this back. Okay. it keeps disconnecting out control delete F1, yes, we are in the BIOS setup. Yeah, so we managed to fix this uh, Lenovo Think Center desktop computer by just reflowing one simple resistor. Always check the voltages and make sure they are, that they are correct yeah so if you will find a voltage which is low trace back the voltage to the source and inspect the source it might be the source itself and it might be a signal that enables that source okay so i wish you find this video interesting thank you for watching and if you do like this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in another video. Thank you so much.